I wanted to try something different this year. You know, um, I placed fourth last year and, um, you know, to, to better what you've done the previous year, you know, you got to make some changes. So for the very first time I hired, um, a nutritionist to help me, um, or trainer, whatever you want to call it. Um, um, Joe McNeil, he's very known on the circuit from the past. He came out of retirement. He's a trainer for the show. And, um, you know, we just changed up a few things this year. And, um, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm just trying to display um, the physique that I've, you know, worked so hard for, you know, for the show. And um, I'm just trying to display it to everyone and, and, and have fun doing it. And if you do that, then you pretty much have the crowd, in, you know, in the palm of your hand. So, but if you're not in shape, then it's a different story. <laughs> so the first thing is you got to come in in great condition. All right, guys, Mikey here from Mikey's Iron Rage. And guys, if my voice sounds a little hoarse, I'm coming down with a little bit of a cold. So don't mind my voice throughout the video. Now, do I have one hell of a video vlog for you today? And we're going to do it on the Blade Dexter Jackson at 2003 Mr. Olympia, where he looked fucking fantastic. And that's why they call him Dexter the Blade Jackson, because he is just so sharp. And especially here in 2003, he was really sharp, placing third behind Jay Cutler and Ronnie Coleman. Nobody was beating Ronnie Coleman in 2003, but you can make an argument that Dexter Jackson should have played second. I mean, I think he was a little sharper than Jay Cutler. I think he was a little more conditioned than Jay Cutler. And I think the only reason why he placed third was because he's only five foot six and a half, 225 pounds, not five foot nine, 250 pounds. That's just my opinion. But anyways, let's get into the physique. Look at the back development. He's got one of the best backs I've ever seen. He's got shitty calves, great hams and glutes, a great rare lat spread. That's one of the most perfect rear lat spreads I've ever seen. It really is. He's got a great rear double bicep. And then once we get to the front part of the physique, he's got great ninja turtle abs. He's got really big quads, but his upper body matches up perfectly with his lower body. He is so in balance. It's not even funny. He's perfectly in balance. And that's why they call him the blade because he's so sharp and he's always so put together. I mean, I mean, here he was what 225 pounds and that is just the perfect weight at almost five foot seven and just totally ripped front lat spread perfect rear lat spread perfect rear double bicep perfect and I got to say his back look crazy here look at the side chest the striations in that side chest is just unbelievable amongst the best side chest poses I've ever seen in bodybuilding history now in 2003 the lineup was pretty stacked you can say one through six was pretty stacked, but I just still think that Jay Cutler should have placed third. That's just my opinion, because Jay Cutler was a little bit better in 2002 and 2001, even though he didn't compete at the Mr. Olympia in 2002. At the Arnold Classic, he looked ridiculous. Now, that version of Jay Cutler would beat this version of uh, Dexter, but not the 2003 Mr. Olympia. So, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below about this unbelievable version of the Blade Dexter Jackson at the 2003 Mr. Olympia. And if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. I hope you did. I know it was a quick one. Mikey's Iron Rage. Peace out, guys.